Hey guys, welcome back. I've always seen a lot of guys doing updates to their Tavoras or X95s with the Geisel trigger. Um, but I haven't seen any comparison videos in accuracy. I see them talking a lot about the feeling and how and, 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 the, and the trigger pull and uh, how that feels, but I don't see any accuracy tests. So I'm wanting to do an accuracy test here, which to me is very, very obviously very important. So I've taken the standard trigger in uh, and I did two five shot groups and I took a Gazelle, Gazelle, however it's pronounced, um, drop in trigger which a friend of mine brought to the range because they're out of stock all the time. Uh, he brought that in and we did a swap out. So I shot uh, two times five shot groups with my standard trigger, put in the, the off to market trigger pack and then tot shot uh, two uh, five shot groups again. So uh, the conditions uh, this is uh, at 100 yards, the rifle zeroed at 100 yards and I'll, I'll get into the rifle specs now and what, what rifle I'm using. Um, the conditions were great, I mean it was a nice clear day, 100 yards, the rifle zeroed at, at 100 yards, about uh, 12 degrees Celsius or 53 Fahrenheit, no wind really, So because the, the, the range is covered with trees as, as you can see in the picture here. Um, yeah, so let's jump into the rifle setup quickly. So a quick overview on the rifle we're using today. Got an 18.6 inch barrel being here in Canada. Got a Vortex Spark 2 red dot, the dot 2 MOA, and I do have a bit of a astigmatism when looking through that one, so it's a bit difficult getting super accurate, but uh, let's see how it goes. Got the uh, Vortex Micro 3x magnifier, really awesome magnifier this one, I like the size of it. I uh, got the pistol, pistol grip which I put on the on the on the rifle. I took away the cutlass. My finger was slipping behind the trigger, so I took this off. I put that. I changed that immediately. I uh, got the RDF style sling on it. Um, standard trigger. There's no changes to the trigger here for this. I mean, we'll talk about it more in the test. The ammo I'm shooting today is Winchester 223 Remington, 55 grain, a full metal jacket. This is the value pack which. Uh, gun seems to like so it's a good one if you want if you want to try this so this is the ammo I'm using I used it for both triggers uh, both times I didn't do much filming at the range itself uh, being a public range there's gunshots going off and there's guys shouting and talking the whole time so it's uh, it was quite busy so I'll just jump straight into the results because because that's what uh, that's what you want to see so here we go okay so for the results standard or the stock trigger Shooting the 223 Winchester ammo, we have this is a 55 grain. We have uh, 3.75 inches and 100 yards. And the one group, one, two, three, four, five. This is the one five shot group. Other five shot group is 3.25 inches. One, two, three, four, five. Here, a little bit to the right. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty happy with that in terms of just having a red dot sight with a three by magnifier. With the with a slight astigmatism um, on the standard trigger, uh, kind of results what I would have I would have expected. Then the Gazelle trigger, much better, um, same ammo, same conditions, just shooting 15 minutes apart from each other, letting the barrel cool uh, in between the different groups. The group here, the first one, which is awesome, is two inches. I mean, using a red dot sight for that was was really quite impressive. Uh, the next one is two and a half inches. And those groups are pretty consistent, or relatively similar. So yeah, overall, you can see a big difference in the in the in the in the accuracy that uh, was able to get extracted out from the rifle just by changing the trigger pack. Um, yeah, I mean overall, it's three hundred fifty bucks, three hundred fifty US, uh, probably five six hundred in Canada. Quite a lot of money just for that increase in accuracy. Do you need it? Probably not. Is it nice? Yes. Um, it definitely instills confidence in uh, in when shooting. So, uh, pretty nice thing to have. But if you're competing with the rifle, then it's nice. But if you're just doing the odd tactical shoot here and there, it's not not a not a big deal. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. But it is in overall, it helps the user or the shooter achieve the gun's inherent built-in accuracy. I mean, this is where the gun should be. Um, which could be it could be doing even better than this if I didn't use a red dot if I used a magnified optic that would be very very interesting to see that results and maybe 
I'll do that in, in the next video. So yeah, 3.75 or 3.5 inches on average here, 2.25 inches on average here. Felt a lot better shooting it. Is it worth the money? That's up to you. Uh, let me know what you guys think.